What is up guys? Good to see you again. Today we are in Jersey Shore, which is a completely new location to me. Thanks to my good friend Willem Verbig behind the camera, who took us for a little road trip outside of New York City, which I'm super stoked about. It's a little bit moody day, a lot of vibes, clouds, fog, rain, all that good. And I recently picked up this new piece of glass, which is like a Summicron 50mm F2. It's called the Rigid. It is made of solid brass, so it is actually a really, really heavy lens. I think it feels very good. It looks awesome on the M6. And in fact, I have never shot a single image through this. So I'm super excited to be in a new location with this new lens. And without further ado, let's load this bad boy with some Portra and start moving. So now that we got the camera loaded, we got Portra 800 inside and I'm having the meter reading here marked as if it was 400 speed. So basically I'm going to develop it as it is and I want to have a little bit more detail in my shadows and if the highlights are blown, that's all right. I think it works for this particular weather environment. So let's roll with it and see what we come up with. So let's see how this works. I gotta hold the umbrella with my one hand and have the camera and also protect it from the rain on the other. And we are good to go again. Let's keep moving. I love this space so much. All the clean lines, so nice colors. I'm really loving this pastel blue over here. For some reason, I'm really drawn to this specific tone. Let's go. I'm kind of unsure if I like the horizontal or the vertical of this better, but I'm definitely gonna take both so I can then pick my favorite later. love those lines. I love this corner right here. Yeah. Looking down the boardwalk and in this rain without any people and the lights just turned on, it looks so good. Kind of creepy though. Yeah. My first thoughts about this lens, I definitely love how it feels in hand and I, I mean obviously 50 millimeter is such a staple focal length that it's, it's nice clean lines it's not distorting much it is it is working really well for this environment because there is so many straight line buildings that I get to play with the compositions here so this is all just one big experimentation that I'm very very happy to do and if we get something awesome fantastic if not we are having a heck of a good time here so I'm, I'm not a big fan of playing around with Photoshop so I rather move my distractions in real life such as this one being in my shot it's slightly tricky because I would really need both of my hands, but I'm also having to hold the umbrella because of the circumstances. That's how life is sometimes, we play with it. Also, I'm seeing some pretty sick leading lines here. Sorry, I'm having to take a photo right here. Dude, this is in so weird way very creepy but really really cool so basically what i'm just gonna frame is like so much negative space yeah. just the sky and the hay and the umbrella silhouette in person that's kind of what i'm going for 
looking fun. So my plan right now is that I love the color of this hay and I love how how it blends with the backdrop with the sky. I'm gonna have Jimmy walk through this line and basically just have it completely. If I didn't get too much water on my lens, I think that is one of my favorites so far. But at the same time, this is so stimulating environment. There is a lot going on. There is the amusement park part. There are really, really cool buildings with all the shapes and colors. So I feel like this is sort of a creative challenge for me to actually see the details, even if it's very, very chaotic and a lot going on in this environment. So I would ideally have some more hours to spend, but right now I'm basically just reacting to what I'm seeing and dealing with that and usually that's when I have the most fun with my camera. Awesome, thank you so much.